Good morning people, today we are going to be reviewing this and this is a pressure washer but this is the Bosch Easy Aquatac 110 Hot Truck Druck Ringer High Pressure Washer Notoya Hati Precision, precision that, whatever I did not go out to buy a pressure washer I'm going to make this clear on why this is in the video I went to home base for a completely different reason and at b &Q, it was £47. Luckily, b &Q was next door to home base where I live, which is a bit backward. Yes, I know. So I went in there, and there it was, £47. £47 for a pressure washer, a 110 bar pressure washer. That's amazing. So I did try to find it online. I can't find it for the price that I paid for it. But right now online, it is £59 at b &Q, and at home base, it is £100. But... I'm being honest with you, if you go down to the store, it might be cheaper. Maybe they're bringing out a new model or something like that and getting rid of the stock. So yeah, let's see if it was a waste of £47 or is it an absolute bargain? Unfortunately, we have run into a problem. So when I took it out of the box, I see this and I'm thinking, oh, there's all water in it. That's not good. And then I looked at the bottom of the box and... Uh, yeah, look, look at the bottom of that box. But to be fair, where it's dark green, I didn't actually, I didn't actually notice that. I thought it was like a design of the box. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel wet at all. So I was like, okay, maybe it was a return. You know, maybe someone's bought it and put it back. But then I'm looking at it, going, it looks quite well presented. You know, it doesn't look like that plug has ever been used. So I'm then looking at the pressure washer itself, and I can see that that is all inside here it's, it's inside the like the the fins in there bear in mind that was stored like this as well so there isn't a reason it should be in there and i can smell it that that's oil that's not water so I, I i didn't think that these would be would have oil actually inside them i thought it would be a motor that that was maybe cooled or lubricated by the water so I think I'm going to go and have to take this back and um, hopefully I can get another one, which is a bit of a bummer for this video, isn't it? So I'm going to have to do this another day. And as always, what do you do when you have a problem with something? You Google it. Of course you Google it. Why wouldn't you Google it? And it is interesting. So this is just one of them. And yeah, apparently this isn't a, um, an untold problem. Apparently quite common. You know, you can contact Bosch. And uh, they'll deal with it for you. But I've seen about four or five just in the 10 seconds I um, Googled it. So yeah, it looks like I'm able to take this back to B&Q. And uh, hopefully I can get another one or my money back. Right, we found them again in B&Q. And they're back up to the original price. But this time, what we're going to do is check the bottom of the box to make sure it hasn't got any leaks or anything. Which I don't think this one does. So whenever you get one, make sure it's not leaking before you buy it. So let's try this now for the second time. So here we have the Bosch Easy Aquatac 110 and I'm going to prove to you its price. As you can see, it is usually £59, but it had a promotional on it of £11.80. But what is interesting on that receipt, I didn't get to, this was because I returned it. It says discontinued slash clearance. So maybe they would just get rid of surplus stock, but that's why it was so cheap. So yeah, so let me open this one and we know it's got no oil leaks. So this is everything that comes inside the box. So we have got the water hose, the gun. I believe this is to hold your gun. It slides onto there. That is the, don't actually know what you would take the technical word for that. It's the thing that goes in this to make it longer. I don't know the technical word. We have then got two nozzles for it. So like two interchangeable nozzles. Oh, does that one adjust? Oh yeah, look, you can adjust the spread with that one. That's quite cool. And then we have the adapter that goes onto the pressure washer itself. It also comes with a foam lance bottle, so we'll test that out as well. And what is interesting, it doesn't actually have to tell you, give you like a tell you how to put it together or anything like that, which is quite surprising. Obviously, we can work it out. Just what I thought was quite cool, it has got a uh, small filter in there. Oh, and if you do buy this. Just something that's good to know when I was reading the instructions. You do actually get a two-year guarantee with it. And if you go online and you, like, fill out the online part of it, it will then be three years. Obviously, if you actually break it because you drop it, then that's different. But it has got a warranty for two years. And if you go online, you can extend it to three years. So let's put it together and try it out.
So it only takes a few seconds to put together. And this is the same on the pressure washer itself to attach these. You push down on these and then that will pop out. So you see inside there, so you press that and then it expands. So then you push this one. This one's a lot easier to do than that one. You probably need to lay it down or use two hands to do it. Quite difficult to do with one, but that's it. This is a standard pressure washer fitting, push in and twist. And with the end nozzle, which will be the same with the other two, you just press that in and off it comes. So then to put it in, press it down and push. So let's go outside and test it out. What I am going to compare this outside to, I have also got a Karcher K4, so I'm going to see what is the performance difference, because this is 130 bar and this is 110, and this was a considerably a lot more money when I bought it at the time than what this is. So, let's see what the differences are. Those are the first time I'm going to switch it on, so I'm going to turn on the hose. Hose is on, not leaking, always a plus. And we're going to switch it on. And this has got like a trigger lock on it, so you press these to lock it and unlock it. So like, now that's locked. And if I press this one, now it'll work. So it seems any good. Well, it's funny, it does move when you use it. It, it vibrates along if you watch it, look. <laughs> so okay, let me see if I can clean off these tiles with it. So I'm just going to do two tiles with the Bosch and then two tiles with the cartridge just to show you the, the, the differences. This bit's underneath a tree, that's why this bit gets a bit more dirty. So let's see how it goes. And this one's now with the power head. So it does it in like a circle. See, it, it does do it, it's just, it's just quite a long process. So now I've got the Karcher K4, and I'm going to do the spread head on this tile, and then the harder one on this tile. Go. What I will say I can notice it does do it a lot easier. So let me swap the head round to do this tile. So now we've got the harder head on it. It's built up with light sticks as well. So here we go. Right, so it is a bit of an unfair comparison because obviously the Karcher is the more powerful pressure washer, but <laughs> it done it a hell of a lot easier and a hell of a lot quicker than the Bosch took on that tile. So what I'm gonna do now with the Karcher is time on full pressure, how long it takes to fill up this bucket. So three, two, one, go. <laughs> Two, three, I did fill up about 10 seconds ago. So about two minutes and 10 seconds to fill up the orange bucket. Let's see how long the Bosch takes. Right, so the Bosch one's ready. So three, two, one. Do you know what? Again, with the car chair, it was about 10 seconds under that. So actually, they did pretty much the same job. I might have wasted a bit more on the car chair at the start because it's a bit more powerful, but yeah. So for filling up the B&Q bucket test, they're actually pretty even. Before I carry on, I do understand that, you know, there are different levels of pressure washer, but it's just, you know, I've just showing you what the difference is between them. So for the next test is how far does it push an empty watering can across the garden test? So the Karcher should win, but let's see by how much by. They're on the same, you know, same adjustment, same size, let's see. 
So I've got a marker over there for where the Bosch finished and I've got the same thing on the car chuck. So let's see how well it does. Hmm, I didn't actually get that further, did it? Hmm. It definitely hasn't pushed that further, is it? Even though you can adjust both of these, like the spread on it, with the Bosch, if you twist it all the way, it then comes out like a pinhead. Like that. But the, the Karcher can't do that, so therefore, this is more powerful like this. I'll show you again. Look at that. I've got it all the way to Fred at the end of the garden. So, you know what? That's a good mark for the Bosch there. Didn't even notice that till now, so yeah. That's a, I like that, that's good. So I've been playing around with the pin, you know, the pinhead attachment. I just wanna show you something. This is just a piece of cardboard, you know. The floor isn't wet, just to clarify, but let me just show you something. Watch this. That is amazing, isn't it? Now look at that, cuts through, that cuts through cardboard. Like easily. That's a, that's amazing. I'm, I'm quite liking that bit of attachment actually. I have thought of another test. Obviously this is the bench that just sits outside so it gets a bit knackered by the elements. So I'm gonna clean one half of it with the Bosch and the other half of it with the car chart using the, um, the blade attachment. I don't, I'm not really sure the technical, the one that moves like this. What the Bosch pressure washer does keep doing, it keeps pulsating and it's really annoying. So let me show you what I mean. <laughs> So now the bench is dry, you can see that the Karcher and the Bosch did the same, you know, it looks pretty similar. The only thing I would say is that the Karcher, I think, did it in one go, where the Bosch took two. But yeah, still good effort from the Bosch. Right, what we're going to do now is what 90% of people probably would do with this pressure washer, and that is to clean your car with it. So I usually start with the wheels. I've already found a negative point with this though, is that the cable is too short, and then the hose is too short. So. You know, your plug socket, if it's a bit further away, you're not going to be able to do the whole car in one go. But to be fair, on my car, try I have an extension lead anyway, so I will allow it that, but the cable is quite short to begin with. So yeah, let me start with the wheels, and let's clean your car. So obviously we're going to see if we can foam up the car. So I'm going to fill up the lance that came with it with the turtle wax snow foam. I'm going to use this because I haven't got to dilute it and I have a lot of it to use. I am also going to use this auto glim lance. The reason I'm using the auto glim lance is because the only one I have with a quick release connector. So I have bought this and I got this from Amazon. It was £12.99p and this allows me to connect it to the Aquatac so that we can see how good it is with a proper lance. So that's what we'll do. We're going to fill these up quickly with 300ml of turtle wax. So the wheels are clean now, and to be fair, this is actually doing pretty good. Again, the downside is where the cable is not long enough, you have to travel it all around with you. But one good thing, this cable doesn't knot up like the Karcher one. The Karcher one kinks and holds where this is actually quite flexible, so that's really good. Another small issue I found with it is if you just want to quickly adjust the spread on it, you can't because it twists the whole, you see what I mean? It twists from here. If, you, if I twist that, the whole gun twists. So if you want to adjust this, you have to hold hold it here and do this so you can't just if you're washing you, you can't do this you have to do this so it's quite annoying but nevertheless it's, it's doing pretty good and when i have got that spread correct it's quite wide and quite a good pressure so yeah let's find it up so we have got our bosch lance filled with turtle wax and again there is a little notch on it so you can't put this upside down you know you know it has to pop in like so Although you can probably twist it, oh yeah, look, you can twist it on that anyway, just twist from down at the base. So, let's see how good it is. The car is dry, so let's see how well it sticks. I 
Okay, I don't think it's done too well there. It is very, very watery. Although, to be fair, it's the lance that comes with it. To be fair, even the cartridge one that comes with the cartridges isn't very good. I'd say it probably performs about the same. But yeah, that hasn't sudsed up very well at all, was it? So let's try out the Auto Glim Lance. I have got the adapter on and I'm only using this lance, as I said, because it's the only one with a quick fit connector. The spread's set up. I've got the foam on it. So let me just, let's try. <laughs> There you go. Great foam up. Look at that. The, the, the Auto Glim Lance, by the way, is a good lance. There is better ones on the market, but this is a nice, easy, readily available one. It's a good lance. But yeah, I think it's done very, very well there. I mean, I'll show you a close up. Right, so my conclusion of the Bosch Easy Aquatac 110. And what I am going to say is, look, I've put it all away now. What pressure washer fits everything onto the machine like this? Look, it takes up barely, look, it's, it's, it's just, just the length of my forearm, you know? It, that is a really well thought out design. Like, look, even the Lance bottle will be, it's not very good. But look, it clips straight onto the back. Even the two adapters in there, they actually push into like these like little recesses for them that you can push them in this clips onto here the gun clips onto there the hose goes underneath look at that length of my forearm I, th that is the best compact one i've ever seen even the Karcher k2 which is their compact one it it can't do that so in terms of storage that is an a plus for that look at that storage i mean there's not a lot of pressure washers that you can pick up with one finger it's there look so that is brilliant for that so for its actual performance, if you're going to buy it to do outside, to clean your decking, clean your tiles, clean brickwork outside, then I don't think that this is the model for you. If you've only got like a tiny little bit of patio, then I guess it would work. But if you've got a decent amount of brickwork or tiles or decking to clean, then you'd be better off buying something a bit more powerful because you're probably just knacking the machine out after a while. So then you've got the use for like cleaning your car, which is really good. Your only issue is that this hose is obviously only three meters long. The electric power cable is five meters long. So it is a bit of a faff to, you know, get it around your vehicle. Although, as I said, it is light, so you can just pick it up and take it along with you. Although it's a bit annoying, you can do that. Where does that leave me then with the conclusion whether you should buy it or not? If you can find it for the price that I did at 47 pound one, thousand percent you should go and buy it because it's a good little machine 47 quid even if it lasts you two years you know you'll get well enough use out of it as you see we could we clean stuff outside we clean the bench clean the car with it and it didn't fall the only thing i would say sometimes it would pulsate if you didn't get the water pressure on at the same time so that was the only little downside of it but if you wanted to get the Karcher version of it you know the Karcher k2 which is 110 bar as well it's 110 pound even right now, if even if you got it at full price, it's still £50 more. So bear in mind, I got that £10 cheaper. So if you found it at the price that I got, then it is £60 cheaper. So you could buy two of these for the price of one of them. Let alone if you then get yourself a decent lance. As I said, I was using the Auto Glim one. There are better ones out there. It's just I needed a push fit connector. If you then go and spend it on an adapter, another 12 quid, then you can use the lance. And you see, it does a, it does a very good job. So yeah, that's my final conclusion of it if you can find it for cheap and 60 pound one million percent just pick it up go right ahead and buy it and if you're thinking about getting one they are 60 pound and i would still recommend it because i think it is a good washer so hope you enjoyed the video and uh
Thanks for watching.